I think we all are. David, the ticket text will get to the callers. Football the rest of the day. I'm a sicko. I watched the Pistons last night, and it is uh, – the league's got to step in. You can laugh at it, say whatever you want, but um, an organized plan to get Goris out could work. It has to happen. This is – if he's not going to speak, if he's not going to fire people, if he's going to allow this thing to embarrass this town and really just it, – it's a golden-dipped middle finger to you, the customer – we need Adam Silver. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You can find a million people who want to buy an NBA team right now. A million of them. Get this man out of here. And just to put it, just put it in context for you. Oh, it's easy to say, blow hard. You, you, it's not your money. You, 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 you. I sound like Donovan. Here's the deal. Tom Gores is worth over nine billion dollars. He made a three hundred and fifty million dollar investment that's going to pay him one point two minimum. I don't want to hear. It. Get out. Get out. Have somebody come in like they did when Sterling embarrassed this league. And you know what? Overpay. Balmer did it in L.A. Someone would do it here. Get out. Yeah. You're not even trying to be competitive is what it looks like. It's This is... You know what? David, read the ticket text. I'm at the point where I wouldn't even care if the Pistons left Detroit. It's embarrassing. I like a lot of the pieces, but it's just not working as a whole. We out here bricked up, looking sexy, Gilly, at work. <laughs> I remind you guys that Tom Gores gave an extension to Troy Weaver for being in last place again. Gave him an extension, he says. Oh. Yeah, I mean, had a conversation trying to compare this team, like what was worse, this team or the 0-16 Lions, and that's where we are right now. Overpaid for a coach that is not a motivator at all. Just collecting a check. Won't go to LCA this year to watch this team at all. Fire the GM. Sell the team. All right, anything else? Uh, we've also fired the dancing usher. All right. Uh, let's go to Bob, 97.1. What's up, Bobby? Hey, guys. I, Mike, you hit the nail on the head with this. I was talking to my son last week, and I said, Hey, Gage, the next team to go to Vegas are going to be the Pistons. Because we don't deserve this franchise, and it's going to be time when NBA owners have to sit down and say, enough of the Tom Gore showing his walk, shooting out T-shirts in the people's faces, and we got to get this thing straightened out. And so today we're working together, and he said, did you see what happened last night? I said, Gage, guess how many games they've won since the trade deadline last year in February? Do you guys know? It might be one. <laughs> I, just, I, think, I think it was, yeah. Five since February 10th. There you go. Of the trade deadline. There you go. This guy has no right to own a team because of the fans, the fan base, the people around that own the bars and restaurants. Because they're only going there to see LeBron last night. They sure weren't there to see the Wizards. And these teams, the Pistons haven't lost to a bunch of juggernauts. They lost to the Wizards, twice to the Bulls, Atlanta. I watched the NBA. They haven't, they're getting so. Smoke. That's it's the key right there. That's the key right there, Bobby. They didn't just lose it's last a, night to the Lakers. They got bludgeoned. No. They didn't lose to yeah. the Wizards. They 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 lost by twenty. I mean, the Pacers yeah. put one forty on. I, I just enough yeah. enough. And the Lakers and the Lakers played the night before. And, and then you're going to go into Madison Square Garden, and I love the Knicks. My son and I, we dig them. They're going to put an a whooping on them like nobody's. This should be the end of. The manager, the coach, and the owner. Somebody has to sit in there and sit down and go, we're going to march shot you. Well, here's the good news, Bob. You may not see the blowout games because the in-season tournament is over. And one of the tiebreakers was point differential. Point differentials, which is why people are like, oh, we're playing the Pistons? Let's firebomb them. Let's put up 40 when we probably would have just put up 15 to 20. So the good news is you probably won't see those types of blowouts anymore. But, yeah, you, you would think that at this point, if you're gorgeous, you got to at least show up to show, hey, yeah, I'm feeling your pain. Fellas, what is this new gov? You, 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 there's just a drop here labeled gov. What is this, one of these surprise boxes? Yes, it is a surprise box. You'll love it. I'm sorry, what? Oh, Whoa. No. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, my. 
Apparently he was talking about... Oh, my, I don't need to know. All right. You know what? We're on a need-to-know basis, and we don't need to know. Uh, why don't we label that Gov Minority? I, I think that's safer than the mystery box. I was about to say, maybe just la- label that Don't Play. <laughs> Let's go to DJ971. What's up, DJ? What up, though, my dog? You all right? What up, DJ? Yeah, I, I, I'm great. What up, though, fellas? How are you, sir? Hey, I- I'm good, man. Out here enjoying a nice walk, man. It's 50 degrees, feels like 80 compared to them 20s we've been having. So enjoying my walk, rocking with y'all. So look, dude, my thing is you're right, Mike, as far as Adam Silver could save us. I mean, should. But he could have when they threw Greg Popovich that bone and gave them Wimby, we wouldn't even be in this situation. I ain't a conspiracy theorist. Either DJ just fell and yeah, dropped his you, phone on his walk. Okay, or there he is. is he there? there? Is he no, back? No, All no. Right. A, spam, a spam call came in right while I'm talking to y'all, man. Um, you can't you can't tell me that the the NBA didn't throw Popovich a bone by giving him Wimby, man. That was their chance to help us right there. Because then okay. we had the most balls last year, Mike. Yes, and I listen. I agree with you on principle, but you know what the real problem is? Troy Weaver has not operated with any degree of urgency a single day of his life here. He has had cap space and hasn't used it. He's been obsessed with flexibility, a.k.a. I sign garbage. He has made no meaningful trades. He has managed to mine for no meaningful gems. I don't want to put it all on on Wemby. DJ, it's more than that. No, it it definitely is, Mike. And I swear I'll be trying not to be a conspiracy theorist. But it just felt like to me. They gave Wimby pop because they knew either they pop did. was going to quit. I don't and the disagree. For the coach in the USA and all oh, that. And by so the we way, had Wimby winning this Wimby problem. Yama and, and the Spurs are kind of the national team of France. Why? Tony Parker, a generation <laughs> prior, it's already been written. DJ, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. I am. But it is about Troy Weaver, and it is about the man that signs his checks. It's about Arn and the political garbage and the power play and all the voices in the kitchen. We need Adam Silver. Desperately. You have to get this man out of here. You got to get this guy out of here. He can't be an owner or a governor or whatever the hell they call these guys who who own basketball team. You can't. We it, it can't continue. It can't. No, because right now this is an unwatchable project. That was the most interesting thing that happened last night. That's why we're playing it. If you want to know why, either that or watching all the Pistons line up to go shake LeBron's hand and get a selfie with him. George knew right away. Mm-hmm. He knew there was something other than H2O up in the cup. He knew. <laughs> that, that interview probably went two minutes and 30 seconds too long. He should have pulled the plug 10, 10 seconds in. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, Kenny. Good luck in Indianapolis. George, back to you. Yeah, Kenny. <laughs> How are you living out there? Right, exactly. I, I, I'd like to see you at your favorite dive bar just being like, you know what? We're all out here looking sexy right that, now. That, that, was, that, was slick back here. that was Slick Back Kenny at Ford Field when I saw him down there. That was Kenny. Right well, it was there. a happier time, wasn't it? Kenny when his hair's done. Kenny when his hat's on backwards and has 17 cocktails. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't play the other drop that I thought you were going to play there. <laughs> the new Gov drop? <laughs> yeah. I was sure it was going to be a dig at me like that. I was sure of it. You know, Kenny, that hurts. That is. Does it? What Kenny kind of at Thanksgiving dinner. Here? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Read something. <laughs>